Well, it's um, it's sort of a, it's really a, about a, a struggling family um, uh, who are having a difficult time. The the, the difficult economics of the time, the violence of the time. And uh, it's all set in the city of Belfast in 1969, where uh, when the conflict arose, uh, what we called the Troubles, uh, when there was a, a lot of violence between Catholics and Protestants and it became very political. But uh, the backdrop of this is that it's all seen through the eyes of a nine-year-old boy in the family. It's a very close, warm, loving family. But there is pressure on them because of uh, uh, because of the economics and the violence. And the main, the main drama or the, the crisis point is, do they leave or do they stay? And the, the, the father who's earning the, can earn more money in England and, and his, his, the older boy says, like, yeah, we could move, but the mother and the boy don't want to leave their home because that's what, that is their home. Actually, it's about home. And it's, mm -hmm. their, their, it's their people, it's their community, and what would they be without that? And especially through the nine-year-old, who was such beautiful innocence, uh, can't even imagine life without all the people, not just of his family, but his, his cousins, the, the community, the people in the streets. That's all he knows. And it's, it's, very, uh, it's very moving, and it's full of humanity, and it's very, very funny. Well, um, Ken Branagh as a person, he's, he's, uh, he is so gifted in many ways. We know as an uh, actor, writer, director, producer in theater, film, uh, television. He's quite phenomenal, but he's also he's a, he's a warm human being. He's generous. He's loyal. He's uh, witty. He's rigorous. Uh, and of course, he's very intelligent. And uh, wh what he did, I think, when he cast us all, uh, the, the sort of the five or six of the main roles, he cast us and just talked to us or let us know, each, let us get to know each other so that very quickly we could uh, form a bond of a family that we knew things about each other that we wouldn't have known if we were just going to work in a normal way. And uh, through that, uh, it, 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 and then he left us alone in a way. He left us to use our own feelings, our own instinct. And in a way, he didn't direct or tell people. He, he, I'd say he guided. He just guided mm -hmm. things along and allowed them to happen. And he created the space and the atmosphere for people to connect with each other. Yeah, it is a phenomenal cast that uh, Ken gathered together. It's rather, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't mean to be prideful by including myself in that, but um, Jamie Dornan and Katrina Balf uh, give so, such beautiful performances uh, and, and complex and subtle, but uh, full, of the, full of truth uh, because the stakes are very high. And uh, then there's myself and, and Dame Judi Dench as the, uh, as the grandparents. and. Uh, uh, when Ken said, uh, having offered me the part, that he'd already offered uh, Judy the part of the grandmother, I, I couldn't have been more content. It was like all my Christmases had come at once. I'd seen, <laughs> I'd seen her work for so many years and how brilliant she is. And then to get to work to her, to be that close to her, to, um, to see her intelligence, her instinct at work, her, her, f her fleetness of thought. Uh, was just fantastic. So I was hanging onto her skirt tails in a way, and then into the mix was this extraordinary young boy, Jude Hill. I mean, how how a, a ten year old could play with such truth and innocence and joy, and how Ken captured it. Um, it was a thrill actually just to be around the people because they're all really great human beings. But then to be able to be part of something that is truly creative, and then you find out later that it's not just a story about your hometown and a time when. It's actually gone beyond that, and it's now reached out into the world, and it's touching people all over America, and now in Australia, and all over Europe. It's just opened, and that's, uh, as I say, it's humbling and very, very gratifying.